Welcome to Flix Anonymous on CannabisLifeNetwork.com. We are nationwide! Fun movie. Have you thought of what you were going to give this one? Three. I'm going to go two and a half. You just couldn't do the three. You had me going. I'm like, this sounds really cool. We saw the trailer. It looks awesome. And then all of a sudden you're like... The first movie this week is uh, kind of the return of Clint Eastwood, who uh, killed me with uh, America Sniper, a movie that I absolutely hated. But uh, this time he takes the true story of Chesley Sullenberger, a airline pilot who uh, had to make a detour and land his plane in the Hudson River. It was called The Miracle on the Hudson. Here's a clip. What if I did blow this? What are you saying? What if I didn't get this wrong so close to the end of my career? If I endangered the lives of all those passengers? Sully, watch the news. You're a hero. And everyone's going to have to get used to it, including the NTSB. Worst case scenario. The NTSB lists me as the probable cause. That's immediate retirement, no pension. My life's work gone. Okay, you're scaring me now, Sully. What is going on? The left engine might have still been idling. And the Airbus simulations say I could have made it back to LaGuardia safely. But that doesn't make sense. It doesn't jive with every, everything I felt in the cockpit. Then why did you do it, Sully? Yeah, so just so there's no confusion, the movie is called Sully. Um, yeah. It is about the miracle on the Hudson, which is what the media, I mean, the media has got to make a fucking name out of it, right? Yeah, so this yeah. is what they chose to go with. Uh, Tom Hanks is, is in it as, as Sully. Uh, you also got Aaron Eckhart, uh, uh, Laura Linney, who's the wife in that scene there. And, Anna Gunn. And Anna Gunn, who almost doesn't get a lot of dialogue until like almost the end. Yeah. Wow. Where, where it's just like, oh, right, we should give her lines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's from Breaking Bad. We should probably yeah, give her some lines. We should probably give her something. She's Skylar White. We should yeah. give her something. Um, the movie, I, you know what? The movie's okay. I, I, I enjoyed the movie. Um, the movie just premiered at t- uh, Tuleride and got like a standing ovation. They're talking Oscars for, for, uh, for Eastwood and for Hanks and stuff. And uh, I don't see it. I don't see Oscar in this movie. I see a good movie. Uh, they also screened it for us in IMAX, which is... Yeah, why was this movie shot in IMAX? I don't. When most of it was just, like, it was board shot in, like, stuff. boardrooms and, like, hotels. inside of hotels. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I, don't, for, for the, I mean, because the, the plane sequence is great. Like, it, it's a really nice-looking plane sequence. And for the, lo- for the most part, Tom Hanks carries this entire film. Yeah. Was- He's the reason this film's good. Absolutely. Yeah. Totally agree. Tom Hanks is excellent. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it his best performance? No. I mean, Tom Hanks can be in any film. He does a great job. He, mm-hmm. he's, it's Tom Hanks doing, yeah. you know, a guy with white hair and a, and a mustache. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, 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 not, much... it's not deep Forrest Gump like character work no. in this one. This one's more just like Tom Hanks with a, with a duster and a different Oh, hair. he's trying to be as real as possible so you yeah. can kind of feel sympathetic to, to what Solly went through. Mm-hmm. Um, here's a guy who is, you know, taken as a hero yet was, you know, put on trial essentially because they didn't, they, they wanted to make it human error. Mm-hmm. Um, even though it was a freak accident. The, the groveling over insurance money was something that would, they tried to make him a villain. Like, they tried to take down their hero, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, they did. that's what it, yeah. And they just, tried to smear him. Exactly. Yeah. And um, so that was, that was kind of riveting because you kind of feel sympathetic to him. And I'd like to read the book. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it would be an interesting story for sure. Um, the movie is one of those ones you don't have to rush out to the theater to see, and you especially don't need to go see it on IMAX. <laughs> no. I really don't know why they shot it in IMAX, like I said. It but, seems like a waste of time. But it's one of those movies you can sit at home and watch and, and enjoy. It's a good mm-hmm. movie. It's hard to diss the film. It's mm-hmm. it's an interesting story. I, I, I just have a problem with some of the... the like some of the dialogue, the script, yeah. This dialogue was kind of cheesy at points, um, and you know, overall, I mean, yeah, sure, the film's not perfect, but it's it's entertaining enough yeah. because it's a true story and it's such an interesting story. Definitely, too. definitely, and the, yeah, I mean, like uh, this movie is pretty short; it's like an hour and a half, and Which, it ends very abruptly too. It's yeah. just kind of like credits. 
which I appreciate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I was appreciate. glad it was only an hour and a half. It for didn't sure. need to be longer than that. Yeah, because you do feel some of the dialogue stretching, the stuff that they put in there. Uh, they put in some backstory for uh, Chesley as well. Yeah, they just they, they do a little bit of that. Like they put scenes in within the movie that just kind of feel like they're like cut and put in there just to kind of take up space yeah. and time. And the the backstory or the exposition on the passengers is dreadful. It's yeah. just it's so bad. Oh, it's the, so bad. The golfing guys. The golfing guys. Oh, there's yeah. And there's Aaron, Eck, Aaron Eckhart has a really nice mustache. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Well manicured. Like, mm. like it's like when you admire a really nice lawn. It's kind of yeah. like that. <laughs> you know, you're just like man. That is, I'm jealous. So where are you sitting on this one? I'm at a three and a half on this one. Yeah, yeah. I think that's solid. Yeah. Three and a half out of it, five. It's not Oscar worthy. Like if this no. one's going to be in the Oscar picture coming next year, it means that we haven't had a great year in movies, which we haven't really. So it's, I don't know. I don't know. Like when it as as we get closer to Oscar season, if this one's still at the top of the pile. I'm gonna have a I'd, few questions. I I'd think. be surprised. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it's being touted so much. Maybe because Clint is 86 years old. Maybe and... it's because it. I think it's something to do with that. And, you know, Clint hasn't had a good movie for a while either. But the American Sniper was all over the board with with all these award nominations. Propaganda. Yeah, I know. But I, anybody could have directed this movie. I'll say that. Okay. I will say that. There you go. Yeah. Three and a half out of fives. And is that what you're landing? Yeah. Let's do that. So 88% Rotten Tomatoes, uh, 76 in Metascore. Uh, that might fluctuate between uh, probably today when you look at it, it might be a little different. 